YouTube. Hi. Day seven update. Ding, ding, ding. Day seven. So, you guys, um, today I'm going to discuss breaking the fast or the proper way to break a fast. So, you guys, it's really important that you break fast properly. It's very important that you do that. You can, if you come off a juice fast, you can really injure yourself by just going and eating whatever you want to eat. You can, you know, it can be fatal. You can end up in a hospital. Your, your digestive tract and your digestive systems, you know, they haven't been processing anything for several days. And so you have to rev them back up and slowly. That's very important. Now, there's a couple of people that have different theories on this. Some person said, you know, somebody on, online or on YouTube said that basically you take the number of days that you fast and you divide them by three. So if you were on a 60-day fast, you would need basically 20 days to amp up and ramp slowly back up for your digestive tract. Other people say that if, you know, you take the number of days and you divide by four. So, obviously, it's conflicting information. So, what did I do? I called my doctor. <laughs> That's what you need to do, you guys. Honestly, I'm a guinea pig. So, you can't listen to the guinea pig. What you need to do is when you're trying to break the fast correctly, you need to call your doctor. That's who you need to call because that's who's going to give you the best information. So I called my doctor. This is what my doctor told me to do. So this is what I'm going to do per my doctor. I'm not saying it'll work for you. I'm just letting you know what my doctor said. You need to consult your own doctor. Okay? All right. So my doctor said on day one that I could have bland, simple veggies, lightly sauteed in some water. Um, and she said I could have um, soup. She said to have soup. And she said I could have maybe the very soft or juicy fruits, like maybe, you know, a little bit of um, like orange, something soft, something with a lot of water in it. And that's for day one. And she also said that I can continue juicing, of course. Day two, she said, continue juicing, still have the soup, and I can have the sauteed vegetables, and I can introduce rice, a little bit of rice, she said. And I, if I don't like rice, because I'm not a big rice fan, she said I can do a little bit of oatmeal. So that's what I can do on day two today. Um, and then, of course, with soft vegetables and the, and the soup and everything else. And then um, day three, I asked her specifically, when can I have a salad? And she said, I can't have a salad until day three. So I can't have a salad until day three. Um, and then she said, if I'm going to continue to eat meat or not, which I'm you know, trying to figure out what I'm going to do long term. She said not to ingest any meat until the fourth or fifth day of my um, breaking fast. So... Those are the directions per my doctor. That's what I'm going to follow. So I'm um, kind of looking forward to seeing how the breaking the fast and how my body responds and paying attention to it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make my own vinaigrette, which I'm excited about that. You know, I'll probably make that the night of day two so that when I have my first salad, I can have my own organic homemade raspberry vinaigrette. So that'll be an exciting recipe to get for you guys. Um, so that's basically it. Um, oh, there was a tip, you guys. Uh, there's other YouTubers that I follow as well. And um, Miss Invisible Chrysalis, um, she gave a great tip. I haven't asked her because she did a 60 day juice fast based off of the, the book, uh, I mean, that's not the book, the documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And she did a 60 day juice fast. And she, when she said to break, when she broke her fast, she soaked prunes in water overnight and then she drank the juice and then she slowly ate the prunes now that's a tip i've heard repeatedly over and over again on youtube from other juicers so it could be a good tip i don't know who knows my doctor didn't mention it to me so i'm not going to try that one um uh, maybe on the next go round i might try it so because right now i'm just sticking to the rules my doctor gave me because i want to be you know on the safe tip but it was a good tip and i did ask her and i really appreciate her getting right back that was so awesome you guys especially for someone who's done it for 60 days so it just was nice to get the encouragement from another juicer so anyway thank you so much you guys for watching and um that's all